distinct commonality across all three things that, that flow in terms of the way we handle information, the environment, the look and feel, but each, each one is different in context. Each one is managed very simply, very cleanly, and each manages to engage across teams and across organizations and connect people together to try and get a positive outcome and to drive improvement in operations. How Delnia supports the global sustainable operations. And it all begins with collaboration and modeling, basically because of two main topics. Collaboration. We truly believe that collaboration between employees, between the different actors in the business, is the key to knowledge sharing and to maximizing the efficiency of a particular operation, both because information flows are faster when they're enabled via collaboration, but also because the ability to have a consistent way of collaborating and tracing back the information shared through that, those collaboration ensures full understanding of the topics being discussed and addressed. And second, modeling. The ability to model virtually all the environments and, 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 and all the decisions within a virtual twin allows you to understand how reality will look like without having to go into all the cost of actually making these environments a reality. So if we look at the enabling technologies of digital transformation as identified by Frost and Sullivan in their paper titled Inspiring Manufacturing Transformation in the Digital Era, we see a lot of familiar technologies. Cloud computing, predictive analytics, AI and machine learning, and additive manufacturing. But near the top of their list is digital twin augmented reality. And rightfully so, as we at Dalmia see digital twin technology or virtual twin experience, as we call it, to be one of the most impactful technologies in the transformation of manufacturing operations. We step forward out of this pandemic into what is, quite honestly, the new norm. Um, and it's going to be a very disrupted new norm. You have to be able to accept disruption as the way things are going to be in the future. It's the way we're going to be doing business. We have to expect the unexpected. So as we look forward to this next decade, what will 2030 be like as we link the trends of humanity and our desire to be endlessly connected to the world and devices around us? And so the population projection for the end of 2030 could be as much as eight and a half billion people uh, on the planet. And if you look at uh, some of the things that IH IHS has projected in terms of some key elements of that, potentially, six billion mobile phones uh, in existence, seven and a half billion people of the eight and a half billion online, and 125 billion connected objects. So the future is going to be driven dramatically in this continued direction of humanity and connectivity. And high tech is gonna be at the center of enabling this future. And so the opportunity is there for companies to reap the benefit if they're ready because it's not an easy road to get there. There's a lot of competition, profit margins are slim, and the ability to incorporate some of this agility and sustainability and have an effective workforce is gonna be key to enabling the future uh, effectively or falling by the wayside as so many organizations have done uh, in high tech in the past.